Hello everybody, and is everybody well today? I am so delighted to hear that. And me? Oh yes, two thumbs up, doing very well. I am still enjoying the harvest from my little English country garden, eating lots of good produce and keeping good and well all the time. Now, where are we going to go to today, you ask? Good question. This is a good one today. Captain GL, that's his YouTube uh, name, he wrote me and he says, please add Tel Aviv LLBG to Tehran OIIE to one of your busy flight schedules. This shall be your next peace flight, he says. Well, as you know, the tensions between Israel and Iran are not that good at the moment. So yes, making a flight like this would be a good one to wave the flag and show that it can be good and that peace can prevail. And it will be Ryanair 186 that will make the trip between the two ports because, and I checked, there are no direct flights between Tel Aviv and Tehran. Who would have thought? <laughs> no, all the flights that go to Tehran all have to stop over first in Ankara in Turkey. So, we will be making our own flight route today. And I've got some wonderful scenery for Tel Aviv. It's made by Aerosoft. So Tel Aviv LLBG airport scenery is by Aerosoft. And then I did a little bit of searching around on the internet and I found some freeware scenery for Tehran. So Tehran OIIE airport scenery is freeware and it's really rather good. Now, when we arrive at Tehran, I'm going to be pulling in to stand 100 for a very particular reason. The designer of that freeware put a marshaller right there at stand 100. So I'll pull there and let the marshaller guide me in. Sound like a plan? <laughs> okay then. Right, Captain GL, if you're ready, let's go on over then into pre-flight and let's check the weather and let's check the conditions and see about then making a flight plan too. All right? Well, here we are in windy.com and I have it up here for LLBG, which is Ben Gurion Airport right down here in Tel Aviv. And you can see the wind is coming in straight off the Mediterranean and hitting the coastline down here. It says wind is from 280 degrees, nine knots, but varying between 240 and 320. Visibility 10 kilometers or more, some scattered clouds at 3,700 feet, and the temperature is a warm 31. Incidentally, we are anticipating 28 degrees here in England. That's 83 degrees Fahrenheit. So we are not going to be far off the temperatures today. And it says that it's been VFR for the past several hours. So looking at the runway, well, 
Not sure about this one. Probably it will be this, uh, I would imagine, this runway right here. So that would be the runway 30. That seems like a good bet, don't you think? And we will be parked somewhere in this vicinity right here. Not exactly sure yet where, because of course uh, P3D does park other aircraft in the vicinity and we will have to take an empty slot when we go in. But it will be in this wing at Ben Gurion Airport. All right, looking now at Tehran. Now here's an oddity. Look here, the wind is blowing in the exact opposite direction. Here it says the wind is now coming from 170 degrees at 8 knots. Ceiling and visibility okay. Temperature 36. Much warmer in Tehran than it is in Israel at the moment. And Q&H 1011, almost standard. So looking at the runway, well, I think it's a safe bet that we'll be coming in on this one, which will be 11 left, I think. And down here, I'll show you this. This, where this aircraft is parked, that is stand number 100. And we'll try to be at that same one so uh, we can get that animated marshaller. All right, we'll go now into sim brief. We are Ryanair and we are the famous 186. And we are departing from LLBG. And we are going to go to OIIE. OIGG is our alternate. We'll look at that in a moment. The airframe is EIENI Ryanair 186, which is a 737-800. Cruise profile 6, and there is our registration. Now, scheduled flight time is 2 hours and 30 minutes block time, you know, from gate to gate. That's uh, quite a bit longer than a flight that I normally like to take, but... This is an important one, so we'll go along with it. Departure runway as anticipated is 3-0. Arrival 11 left as anticipated. We'll leave the altitude to the discretion of uh, Simbrief to come up with. We are, of course, going to be full. And we have one ton of cargo. Now... Even though we have champagne and caviar, there are some very severe restrictions regarding the consumption of alcohol over the territorial airspace of Iran. So when we cross that border, we will have to cease serving up alcoholic beverages. But caviar will still be available. And there is the flight route, it's given us. And down here, it's given us the entire route. All the way across, crossing over the top of Baghdad. And Sada'i Jangal is the alternate airport. Altitude is, elevation it should be, is minus 37. So it's, it's 37 feet below sea level. Very, very interesting. So if things go pear-shaped, that will be our destination for the alternate landing. All right, we'll save the flight and generate the flight plan. And here we have it. There's our aircraft. There's the originating airport, the destination. There's the alternate. And we are flight level 340. Airtime, it says, is going to be 2.09. Block fuel, 9.615. And there's the routing. No remarks, it's given us. And looking at the flight plan, here's, 
here you can see that we are Ryanair 186 and right here this F340 that is our cruising altitude and then the rest of this is the flight route. The Salam 4F is the departure uh, SID and the Savir 1 Romeo that's the arrival star. Cost index 6 we'll need to know that. Average wind we're going to need to know that. Here's our block fuel that we will be putting on and it says reserves are 2,795 that's just about 2.8 and the trip and taxi is 6,138 and that's quite a lot of fuel but it says no tankering recommended. This is the entire flight route and I'll post this in the description box below the video so that you can follow it yourselves if you wish. Now here is the descent information and it's showing at 20,000 feet we will be 332 degrees and there'll be a 10 knot wind and it will be minus 7 degrees. But when we get to 15,000 feet then it becomes plus 7 degrees and at 10,000 feet there's the wind speed and direction and it will be plus 18 degrees. So it warms up very rapidly as we descend. And here is the winds aloft on our particular cruising altitude of 34,000 feet. Here you can see we've got some tailwinds going across, always like tailwinds. Then they become, oh, coming off our left quarter here as we go over here. And then they are broadside and then they shift a little bit. And so it becomes a little <laughs> mixed as we descend into Tehran. But it looks like for the most part we're going to have some good tailwinds which is always good for fuel economy. And here is our vertical profile departing from Ben Gurion right here all the way up. Little step here it's got and then across the top at 34,000 feet and descending then into Tehran. Now Tehran, of course, is much higher in elevation than Ben Gurion, and there are some mountains in the vicinity, so we will have to watch out for those as we descend. Okay, we have our information, so let's go into Navigraph charts and bring in all of the plates that we're going to need for our journey. All right, here we are Navigraph charts. Click flights, click new flight from Simbrief, and we choose the latest one that came in. Click on the start airport, open the charts list. We're going to need to know the airport. We'll need to know the parking stands. And this one, it has all of the coordinates, so we'll need that too. And we're going to try to position ourselves at D6, D7 or D8. Right around this vicinity is what I'm going to try to park at. We'll be using this departure and it's you can see it comes out from 3-0 here, swings, and then makes a teardrop change here and then off it goes on its route. So that's going to be our standard inf uh, instrument departure and I'll pin that to the bottom. Going over to the destination, we'll open the charts list. We're going to need to know the airport and let's see is this the one? Yes this is the one so I'm going to pin that. Here you can see stand 100 will park right there because it's right next to this one, the VIP pavilion. 
and you know what VIP stands for now, don't you? Well, of course, very important passengers. <laughs> And then it's going to show the Savir 1. So here's the approach. It comes up here. It gets to this one, to the RUS uh, VOR, and then comes in to make the landing. And I'll pin that. And it's asking for 11 left. There's only one. So I'll pin it and bring that up. So here's the information right there. Go to approaches and we're coming in on 11 left final. So that will be that one. So once we get to this VOR, if there is any problem uh, with being able to land, that's our holding pattern. And then we go to here to this point, and then this is our base, and then we turn on final to land on runway 11 left. And notice it's 105 degrees for 11 left and 104 degrees for 11 right. So we don't need to get confused. The IKEA. Uh, VOR is right here, so we'll make a note of this frequency. We also need to know that the transition level is flight level 110, and the transition altitude is 9,000 feet. Airport elevation is 3,305 feet up. And then this, this is the decision height. And the decision height is 575 feet above the elevation of the airport, or 3,880. The IKA VOR, as we've already said, is right here. And the ATIS is 127.2. The tower is 118.7. If there's a missed approach, if things go pear-shaped and we cannot land for whatever reason, we continue to the IKA VOR, make a standard right turn, and then go back to the RUS VOR where we go into a holding pattern until directed otherwise. And this is the Profile of our descent, we come in at 6,100 feet, and then we'll be descending to 5,100 to get to the D8, which is right here. And then we make this descent to the airport with the minimums right here. And if something isn't right, then we have to do a missed approach at that point. All right, we have all the information I think that we need, so we'll close all of these panels up. And there it is. Everything's put together. We have our flight plan. Let's go into the cockpit then and set things up. Oh, there you are, Captain. Do come on in and take your seat. Buckle up, don't forget. Now, let me tell you, I went all the way around the aircraft and I checked everything. I kicked the tires and I washed the window. So let's hope there's no rain today. And here we are. We are at Ben Gurion Airport in Israel. This is LLBG Ben Gurion Airport. And this airport scenery is made by Aerosoft, and it is delightful. Let me show you what we've got. We are at stand D7. Just look at the detail here. I mean, there's a lot of, lot of detail that's gone into this, and it's made by Aerosoft. 
Here you can see I'm parked right in front of the main sign that says Ben Gurion Airport. And yes, I'm at stand D7. Oh, and there are <laughs> kamikazes. There are always kamikazes. <laughs> anyway, there it is. Look at the detail. And the weather is as predicted. It is partly cloudy and a little overcast, but mainly very warm, very pleasant. Actually, here in England, we have much better weather than this today. We're going to reach, as I said, a high of 30 degrees, maybe. Who knows? And there's, oh, there's all kinds of kamikaze vehicles zipping in and out. My goodness me. Now, because we are making a peace flight today, the airport authorities here at Ben Gurion have given us free ground power. Ground power is for free, so I don't have to start the APU straight away. So all I have to do is turn on the battery, switch this to ground power, and voila! We have 115 volts coming in on the ground power. Isn't that magnificent? The forward service hatch is open and the equipment stairs are down. And as soon as the air conditioning comes on, we'll get the, everything cooled down. So, I'm going to turn on the IRS. That's to get our GPS location. Turn on the galley. Make sure that we get a cup of tea, eh? And emergency exit lights. No smoking. Fasten seatbelt. And then over here, left and the right window heats. Leave the probes as they are. Turn on the electrical hydraulic pumps. Then over here, turn on the packs, the circulating fans, and listen. There's the air conditioning now rushing through the entire system. And I checked that the air rack is up to date. It just changed actually yesterday and that the program is not reporting any errors. Go to our position and we are at LLBG, LLBG. And we are at stand D7. So I'm going to put D and 7 in here. And it comes up with that information. I'm now going to check what D7 is on the charts that we have. And it should be 32002 and 34526. And that's exactly correct. So we'll put that right in there. Now we have our starting position on the GPS. Go to the route and we are LLBG in our starting point. We're going to go to OIIE in Tehran. We are RYR and 186 up here. Now we go to the next page and now I'm going to take all the information from the flight plan. So our first point, waypoint is Salam, S-A-L-A-M. So S-A-L-A-M. And then we go direct to Osama, O-S-A-M-A. And then we take the Lima 200, the Lima 200, and that will take us to Ludan, L-U-D-A-N. Then we take the Alpha 412, so Alpha 412, and that will take us to Daxen. So D-A-X 
PN. Then we take the Lima 200, Lima 200, and that will take us to Gibux, G-I-B-U-X. Go to next page. Then we take the Romeo 652, Romeo 652, and that will take us to Oraklu. R-A-P-L-U. And then we take the Golf 202, Golf 202. And that will take us to ILM, I-L-M. And then we take the Bravo 411, Bravo 411. That will take us to SAV. S A and V. And that is our route. So activate that and execute. Now let's go to fix and put in O I I E. And we'll have a four mile circle a 10 mile circle and a 30 mile circle go to descent go to forecast now transition level do you remember what the transition level is transition level is flight level 110 so 110 and then we need the information for these three altitudes flight level 200 150 and 100 q and h at our destination is 1010 and then the information that we need for each of these flight levels is as follows At 200, it is 332 at 10, 332 at 10. At 150, it is 329 at 9, 329 at 9. And at 10,000 feet, it is 94 at 4. So 9, 4, at 4. And then we execute that. Now we go to departures and arrivals, go to departure here. Now this is where we need to listen in to ATIS and find out what the airport conditions are. And Ben Gurion ATIS is on frequency 132.5, so 132.5. Ben Gurion, airport information, Echo, 0, 9 or 2, 4, Zulu, wind, 2, 8, 5, at 1, 0, visibility, greater than 20 miles, sky condition, 3,800, scattered, temperature, 3, 2, dew point, 2, 1, altimeter, 1, 0, 0, 7, landing and departing, runway, 3, 0, VFR aircraft say direction of flight, all aircraft read back hold short instructions, advise controller on initial contact you have, Echo, so we have echo and it is definitely runway 30. So we're going to go and select 30 from this page. I'm going to put the 30 in there. And then we're going to be using the, the Salam for Foxtrot for departure. So look for Salam. There it is, the Salam for Foxtrot for departure. Go to arrivals. We're looking at a runway arrival on 11 left. Put that in, and it will be the, the Saab 1 Romeo. So look for Saab 1 Romeo. There's the Saab 1 Romeo right there. Transition is Russ. And execute that. Now we go to legs, and I'm going to now switch 
to the plan and I'm going to go through this to check that we have everything correct. Now here you can see it's set for plan and I'm looking down here now at the legs so I'm going to go and step through each of these. See there's where we make that little bit of a teardrop. Come back. There's the Salam, Osama. These are all those root points that we put in. <coughs> and coming up, coming up and doing very well. No problems here at this point. Going all the way through. And there's Raplu, Rastu, Dalme, Lango, Sinka, Dragat, ILM. Now getting close. And this is where I'm going to bring this up, the Sav NB, to bring that up into position. And that joins it up here. Continue the steps. And see, it brings it straight up to here. And then we make the turn and come right in on the runway on final, provided that there are no issues or uh, problems. Right, I'm going to switch back to map. And now I'm going to put on weather on mine, double click for data. I'm going to put terrain on yours, very important because we're going to be in mountains. And put the data on yours. And now I'm going to turn on the TCAS so that we can be seen and go to anti-skid over here alright I see all of our passengers have boarded so I'm going to bring up the stairs and close the hatch Now I'm going to get our clearance and uh, our departure clearance from Ben Gurion Airport here and we tune in to 119.35 so 119.35 and request our IFR clearance Clearance delivery, Ryanair 186 IFR2, Imam Khomeini International, ready to copy. Ryanair 186 is cleared to Sierra Alpha, Pitta Airport, as filed, fly runway heading, climb and maintain, 5000, departure frequency is 120.5, score 1344. Ryanair 186 cleared to Sierra Alpha Victor Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 5000. Departure on 120.5 score 1344. Ryanair 186, red back is correct. Contact ground on 118.05 when ready to taxi. Right, we have our clearance. So I'm going to tune to ground. Traffic alert. And what we'll do is we'll request our taxi IFR in just a moment. Request taxi to the gate. Right, well what we need to do now is, since we've got our clearance, we know that we're going to be departing on runway 30, so now we need to complete the flight plan. So I'm going to go in and perform the initialization. The the fuel for the reserves is 2795, that's 2.8, so I'm going to put 2.8, 2.8 right there, cost index is 6, the planned fuel is 2795 plus the trip and taxi which is 6138 and that comes to 8933 or 8.9, 8 8.9 put that up there. Our cruising altitude is 340, put that up there. Our cruise wind 
is 313 at 12, so 313 at 12. Transition altitude, if you remember, that is different, so that's 9,000 feet. So put that in there. And now I double click this, and it makes the calculations for me. And then execute that. And one limit. It is 32 degrees here at Tel Aviv. Takeoff, we will be flaps 10. Double click this for the center of gravity and the trim wheel. One click on each of these to give me V1 rotation and V2 liftoff. Okay. Now, since we are departing from runway 30, I need to put in 296 degrees here. That will be our departure heading. Uh, 148 on the MAC. Our uh, heading on this one will be 296. I'll do yours too, is that all right, Captain? Okay, 296. And I'm going to put in our cruising altitude up here, which is 34,000 feet. This is for pressurization. And then the landing elevation is 3,305, so 3,300 goes in the landing altitude. So 3,300, got it right there. All right, turning on now the position strobe. So far, so good. Now, <coughs> When we uh, depart, we're going to need to have our nose go to the left and our tail to the right. So, and as we do that, we're going to be starting the APU, disconnecting the ground, and request then our pushback. So let's get, first of all, let's get our clearance to taxi. Ryanair 186 with golf, ready to taxi, IFR. Ryanair 186, taxi 2 and hold short at runway 30 via taxiway, Mike 1 Kilo 3, Mike Kilo Lima, contact tower on 118.3 when ready. Taxiing, hold short, runway 30 via taxiway, Mike 1 Kilo 3, Mike Kilo Lima, Ryanair 186. Alright, now I'm going to need to turn on the fuel pumps and we need to start the APU. We're connected to ground power. We cannot start our engines uh, just simply from ground power. We need to get the compressor in the tail running on this. And I'm going to do flight director on, flight director on, and I have green lights on both, so arm that, VOR1, VOR2, VOR1, and VOR2. And while this is starting, I'm now going to put in the, uh, the VOR frequencies for our destination is 114.3, so 111.43, and 116.95 116.95 now I have the information at the bottom right I am now switched to the generators and I'm now going to turn off the ground power since we're now running on Okay, all right, the ground power has been disconnected. Everything is looking good so far, all across the board. We'll do a check. 
fuel is correct. Windows are locked. Seat belt signs are on. Door lights are out. MCP programmed and correct. Takeoff thrust bugs are correct. Speeds correct. CDU pre flight, we've discussed that. Rudder air alarm trim is good. Taxi takeoff briefing completed. And the collision light is now going on. All right. All right, I now have the Navigraph charts right down here. And I'm just going to enlarge it so that you can see where we are and that where we have to go to get to the active runway on runway 30. Okay, put the your damper on, light continuity light has gone out. So now I'm going to contact the people on the ground there to give us our pushback and then we can start the engines. Cockpit to ground. Which engine would you like Go to ahead. start today? Number two? We've we'll been start for number push two. And start. Tail to the right. Right, I'm now going to turn off the and air conditioning right. and, and parking brake is off. Brakes released. I'm now going to switch to generator 2 up here so for the voltage. Brakes released, here we go. And here we go. So I'm starting engine number two. There you can see the start valve has opened and the N2 is spinning up. When that gets to 24, I'll introduce the fuel. And coming up. There we go, bringing in the fuel. The next thing I'm looking for is the engine gas temperature to rise. <coughs> Whoa, look at that. That really does get hot very quickly, doesn't it? That's the exhaust gas temperature. The oil pressure light has gone out. Ah, there, the engines have caught. And I'm looking for 115 volts. We have it. Going to generator one, and now switching the start to at generator one. The start valve has opened. You can see the N2 spinning up here. When it gets to 24, I'll bring in the fuel for this engine. Push back complete, park brake please. Parking brake is on and fuel is being brake introduced. Set. I'm now looking for the engine gas temperature to come up. Oh yes, look at that, very nice. And also looking for the low oil right, pressure light to go out. Watch for the slip or make some guidance on your left. Have a good flight. Thank you, gentlemen. Nice people, those people, don't you think? Nice people at the bottom there. And now I'm looking for 115 volts to appear up here. There it is. So now I've got stabilized generators so I'm now switching to the generators on the main engine turning on the air conditioning again much to the relief of the passengers turning off the APU bleed and turning off the APU all right now let's do our check and go to flaps 10 there Okay, <clears throat> generators are on. Probe heat is now going on. Left and right is on. Anti-ice not required. Isolation valve is correct. Uh, engine start levers idle detent. Flight deck door is closed and locked. <coughs> Recall is checked. Flight controls are checked. Flaps, we have green light. Stabilizer trim is correct. 
auto brake is correct RTO speed brake lever down detent ground equipment is clear so now we are ready to taxi to the active which means we do a little bit of a u-turn and then go back up here and across and turn left so that's our route okay turning on the taxi lights everything is looking good all right attendance <coughs> whereabouts move to the active parking brake is off and here we go day here a little bit of cloud but still a very very pretty day now I've flown in and out of Ben Gurion Airport several times I've only been to Tehran once and that was back in the 70s I would imagine a lot has changed since then Here we go, turning left. Lovely airport scenery this, you know. Very, very detailed. Oh, there's the kamikazes. Go on, get out of it. Buzz off. I swear that they are there just to torture Ryanair. And... straight for me and there's another one coming straight at me ah. do I have a bullseye on the side of the aeroplane my goodness me anyway we'll turn right here onto the kilo taxiway of the airport authorities to give us free electricity today. Thank you very much Ben Gurion Airport.
There's one aircraft coming in to land on 3-0. All right, we're over the over that. By the way, my frame rate for this airport scenery is 22 23, 22 23. Not bad considering that I've got 4K monitors and I've got all the stops pulled out. And it looks like British Air is over there. There's an easy jet over here. There's another British Air. Oh, it's a little aeroplane. Looks like a, a Piper. Oh, there's another kamikaze. Look at that. He's going to come straight for us. What do you What do you bet? Go on, get out of it. He is. He's coming straight for us. My goodness me. Oh well. And I'm going to turn left here and go to the whole short line.
a good takeoff and everything is fine. We are now climbing up to altitude. I'm going now on to standard. And we are getting ready to make our first turn around that teardrop and then we will be on our way. So, it's going to be quite a little journey. So I would suggest that you go back into the main cabin and have some of that champagne and caviar before we get to the Iranian border, okay? I'll give you a shout as soon as we are on our descent and approach into Tehran, okay? See you in a little bit.
pressurization is checked, seatbelt signs are on, recall check, auto brake is armed. Landing data is correct, pro briefing we are good. Right, we are cleared to land on runway one, one left and that is what we will do. So I'm going to change the plate. So that we can see here what that route is. So you, you've got the plate right to your to the side here so you can see that we're coming up at our initial approach fix which is the RUS VOR. Our speed has slowed up a little bit, we are at flaps 5 and once we get to the RUS then we make will be literally on base at that point for a short while and then we turn on to final to make a straight in approach on runway 11 left. The journey has been uneventful. Skies were clear, just a few clouds scattered here or there, but essentially perfect flying weather. A little bit of turbulence after we left Tel Aviv and went over the water and came back over land, but after that it was smooth sailing.
white to red. Everything is good across the board. Yeah, we're all set. We are still too white, too red. There's the outer marker. We are clear to land runway 11 left. There's a little bit of gusting going on out there. Right, I'm going to switch to One the thousand. airport. Turn in 
to find stand 100. The markings, of course, are going to be a little difficult. This is supposed to be a taxiway, but so I'm going to go out onto this one and then we'll turn now we're on a proper apron I feel better and we've got to go all the way down there so I'll take this this one here and hope that it takes us in that direction. Stand 100, as I say, is right over there by that building. So we're not going to be parking in front of the standard terminal building here we are going to go to the, go to the VIP stand how about that VIP that's us well there's a few aircraft already parked here so and as I said the they built in a marshaller to be at stand 100 which I thought was really really good so I'm hoping that the marshaller is still there minutes see that's the main terminal but over there is the VIP this is not bad for free wear scenery okay so it's missing a couple of you know access taxiways but you know that's it's still not bad scenery for free wear and I got it on the internet I was very surprised to find it. ah there's the marshaller right over there 310 and he's already waving his arms. So we go to that next turning and then we go straight down to the marshaller. Ah! Wow. Oh, and over there is the cargo uh, apron and everything else. All right, stick my hand out and turn right here. Oh, and there are birds. Well, well, well. All right, I'm gonna turn the lights off so we don't blind the poor fellow. You see him right there, look at him, waving. 
Yeah, we, we see you. <laughs> Orbit 5055, five, five, contact Tehran, Finta on 127.8, orbit 5055. And... Okay. Parking brake is on. And... Engines are off. Stairs and doors are opening. Merriman, approach. Pacifica 1136 is at minor thousand two hundred descending eight thousand one hundred. Pacifica 1136. Merriman, approach. Roger. Altimeter 1011. Merriman, approach. Pacifica 9824 with you. Pacifica 1136. Turn left. Heading 165. Pacifica 9824. All right. Shutting down. Doors are all open and everybody is getting off and going into the VIP terminal. Wow. Okay, looks like everything is set. And right, fuel off, APU off, battery off, and shutdown is complete. Now here is what I can see from stand 100. If you notice there are birds flying around up there so they put birds into this scenery which is really really delightful. And there's a motorway over there and there is our marshal still waving his arms. And we are 22, 21, 22 in frames per second for this. And you can see in the background there are cranes for construction. And then over to the right, there are SUVs, probably for to carry <clears throat> you and I to the uh, immigration control. Why not? So there is this beautiful scenery, freeware scenery of Tehran. Well, Captain GL, I hope that you enjoyed the flight. Captain, by the way, is from India. So uh, just in case you wondered, and he and I have been corresponding for quite some time. Now, this is not my first time into Tehran. Back in 1976, I flew from Cairo into Tel Aviv, then took a flight from Tel Aviv into Tehran over this exact same route. So uh, it felt a little strange after all of these years from 76 to now. But then, of course, that was pre-revolution days, so it was possible then. Now, of course, it's not, but hopefully one day it will be. As you said, Captain, this was a peace flight and we did our best. Right. Thank you, Captain GL, for the suggestion. I hope you enjoyed the flight. I hope you enjoyed the cuisine. Sorry about the rules and regulations when crossing that border with Iran. All alcoholic drinks have to cease at that point. But that's okay because we are here in a beautiful area and it is a lovely day and i wish you a wonderful day and everyone else too and i'll see you all again next week on a ryanair flight of 186. bye everybody